guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to show you how to connect your aws rds database with your local mysql client such as mysql workbench so let's get started for that first go to your web browser and type aws.amazon.com and then click enter open your amazon dashboard by signing in to your free account or if you have a paid account so this is your aws dashboard on the search bar search rds click on rds so rds is aws relational database service which is a managed sql database service provided by amazon web services so here you can create your own database and create your tables inside your preferred database hosted by Amazon Web Services and also connect to your local MySQL client such as MySQL Workbench. So this is Amazon RDS dashboard. Click on databases. These are the two databases I have already created for you. I am creating a new one. Click on create database. Select standard as it is. Then click on MySQL as we are working with MySQL then keep these options at, as it is click on free tier as we are going to create our RDS database for free using our free account then keep the settings as it is here master username is admin you can change it as your wish i am keeping it admin as it is and give the password i am giving my password give your password as your wish then choose the instance configuration click on this drop down and select t2 micro this is for the free tire. This T2 micro instance gives you one virtual CPU and one gig of RAM and EBS is not optimized. Then keep the storage as it is. It provides you 20 GB of allocated storage. Then keep the connectivity as it is. Here the VPC or virtual private cloud is the default VPC. Keep it as it is or you can change it if you want. For that you have to make a new VPC as your own then click on yes as you want to access it publicly from your mysql client and choose an existing keep it as it is uh, existing vpc security group click on default as it is and rest you don't have to change anything just once check the estimated monthly cost if it shows you any cost or not here i have selected the free tire so it's showing me no cost it gives 750 hours of amazon rds in a single availability zone with dbt2 micro instance 20 gb of general purpose ssd and 20 gb for automated backup storage and any user initiated db snapshot so keep everything as it is and then click on create database because i was giving it time to create a database so now the database 3 is available as you can see so now let's open our mysql workbench to connect to it uh, i'm opening my mysql workbench 8.0 so so mysql workbench has opened Click on this plus sign to set up a new connection and beside this connection name give your uh, database connection name. Here I am giving RDS2. I am giving this name RDS2. You give a name as per your wish. Then in place of this host name you have to give. Okay. So click on this database three as i am clicking and then under this connectivity and security tab you will get the endpoint so copy this endpoint 
in my case it is database 3.cc48 something like that as you can see so this is the endpoint for your connectivity copy the endpoint and in place of 127.0.0.1 paste it paste the endpoint of your rds database which you have created right now and the port is 3306 as it is yeah the port is right and username is not root we have given the username as admin so i am changing it to admin and the password I will give it as I have given it then click OK then click on test connection to test the connection whether it's right or wrong click on test connection and it will take some time to show you the message yeah so successfully made the SQL connection so my SQL connection is successful as you can see click on OK So one thing I want to tell you guys is that if by chance you get an error that your SQL connection is not up to the mark or you can't connect your local MySQL workbench with our AWS RDS then the fix is you have to first check whether you are giving the correct password or not. For that what you have to do is go to your databases, select this database 3 click on action and sorry not action click on modify and here in place of new master password you can give your new password which, which you have to remember and give when you want to connect to your RDS AWS AWS RDS from your MySQL workbench okay so you can change your password in case you forget you forgot your password okay so this is fix number one if you can't connect to your AWS RDS database and fix number two is that you have to set the inbound rules so again go to your database click on database 3 under connectivity and security you can see that under security the VPC security group you can see you have selected the default security group as I have selected okay now click on it so this is our default security group scroll down a bit and click on the inbound rules if you have this row where the type is mysql aurora uh, protocol is tcp and port range is 3306 then it's all right your connection should be successful but in case if you don't have this row where the type is mysql aurora and protocol tcp and port range 3306 click on edit inbound rules and click on add rule and you can now add uh, your new rule as I have in my second row okay so you should edit the new row as this uh, keep the type as mysql aurora and uh, port range will automatically be 3306 and source is custom as it is so my row is already right like I have the right configuration so I am not saving it again and changing it so I'm just clicking on cancel I wish this two fixes should make your connection right so yeah going back to database dashboard so let us now create a table in the database we have created go to mysql workbench let's see what uh, tables we have or what databases we have type the command show databases
select it and execute it. So as you can see here, the databases we have are information schema, MySQL, performance schema and sys. So these are the default databases which we will definitely have. Now let us create a new database. Create data base and let's keep the name as Riju DB because my name is Riju Sri so the short form is Riju DB and execute this query and create database Riju DB is successful as you can see on this action output window now use this DB use Riju DB. So this is the database we are now going to use. Click on execute and yeah, zero rows affected. Now we can create a table. Create table EMP. This is an employee table. So EMPL O Y E E employee. Uh, let's give the ID int 10 and the name of this employee name let the type is worker size is 30 and yeah let this two columns be there only and then execute this row and yes DSC employee so this is the schema of employee table so yeah that's it if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family thanks for watching my video have a nice day